Battlefield 1 is an all-out warfare game, and its highlight mode, Conquest, focuses on 64 players battling it out across large maps trying to hold ground and beat the other team. It's been a hugely successful formula, and that holds true with Battlefield 1 being the most popular Battlefield game ever released. But what happens to that formula when you try and introduce competitive play? The words Battlefield and competitive stuck in the same sentence has never really appealed to that many people as much, let's say, as Counter-Strike, or even newer games like Rainbow Six Siege that now has a thriving competitive community. I was quite surprised then when DICE initially announced that they had plans for a competitive module to be added to Battlefield 1, and I was even more surprised when EA formally announced that they were going to have a competitive event for Battlefield 1 in 2017. This competitive element for the game is being revealed at Gamescom in August, and understandably, a lot of people have been wondering how it's actually going to be shaped. From the barebones information we got at EA Play, we know for certain it will be focusing on tighter, team-orientated combat, but somehow it's going to retain that all-out warfare that Battlefield is known for. And this, on the surface, leads me to think that we will see some variant of that classic 5v5 layout that other shooter games have used for a long time now. But is that enough to get people excited about the new edition, and will it be popular with audiences as well? Now if we cast our minds back just a little bit, one of the previous Battlefield games, Battlefield 4, that did make some inroads into the competitive scene. There were tournaments being hosted, and teams would battle it out against each other for prize money. ESL 1 events were held fairly often for the game, and whilst it was nowhere near as popular as other shooter titles, it managed to hold its own. Battlefield 1, however, launched with no real sign of competitive support, and it's only now that EA and DICE are starting that journey again towards hosting tournaments and events for players who are serious about trying to be the best. Battlefield 1 is essentially playing catch-up. Now before I go on, I want to make a distinction here. I'm not talking about esports. Esports is something completely different. I'm talking about competitive. The two items are separate, and it needs to be made clear that that is likely the case with Battlefield 1. DICE is making a competitive element for the game to allow players to play something different in order to show off how good they are against other players. Recently on Twitter, Yoye Dalund, a developer at DICE LA, confirmed that the system they're making will be available to all players of all skills. And this reflects what EA is offering in other franchises that they own. For example, the recent FIFA Ultimate Team trials in Berlin were won by a player who six months previously was just a regular guy working a regular job who just played FIFA in his spare time. Fair enough, he was a very good FIFA player, but he wasn't a professional player. He was just a standard gamer like you or me. He climbed the ranks and he won the championship without any prior experience of competition play. And this is the kind of competitive scene in Battlefield 1 I think we'll be getting. Any player of the game on any platform will be able to compete against everyone else with the chance of being able to take part in finals around the world. That's where the esports section comes in. Once you get to the finals and you're playing on streams on Twitch or on YouTube, competitive is built into Battlefield and that's what we're talking about today. Beyond that, we don't know anything more about what EA and DICE are planning, but I think we can make some speculations based on Battlefield 1 as it is right now. I think it's no secret that many parts of the Battlefield community feel that Battlefield 1 just isn't up to the challenging standard of its predecessors. This in turn has led many people to simply call out that Battlefield 1 isn't built to be competitive at all, and I've even said that in the past. Let me be clear, I don't think that Battlefield 1 in its current position is great for competitive play, but I think that DICE understands that as well. Back in January, a few job posts went out for the studio and they hired a guy called Florian, better known as Drunksy. He is a former Battlefield Pro player as part of the Fnatic team. That team won multiple tournaments throughout BF4's life cycle, and it strikes me as very telling 
that if DICE is prepared to hire former pros into their studio to help them produce a competitive element, then I think they're serious about what they're developing. This isn't just some offhand gesture from the developers, this is something they've been working on for quite a while, and now they're bringing in the experience. Florian is actually a good friend of mine. He was an EA game changer before DICE hired him, and I've spoken to him a lot at different events and a lot at DICE since he became a developer there. He's a really nice guy, and his knowledge of the competitive scene is probably unrivaled. Now, we don't know what his actual job title is. He hasn't publicly stated what he's doing there, but he has the experience of being a pro Battlefield player, and he's now part of the DICE development team who are working on the competitive experience for the game, and I'm sure that his skills are being put to good use. But what actually is this competitive thing going to be for Battlefield 1? As I've stated, I've got no real info here, but I do have some points that I think could materialise at Gamescom in August when this thing is revealed. This is just really speculation beyond this point, but these are, I think, the options that DICE have at the moment. Scenario number one is that DICE is making a totally new game for the Battlefield franchise that will solely focus on competitive play. It'll have a different name, a different look, it'll have a different feel, and it will help players of the standard casual titles understand that that experience, the competitive one, is totally separate. This would mean that a competitive game could be constantly tweaked, it could be constantly updated, separate from the other casual games that are already out on the market. If this were the case, however, I think we would have heard more rumblings of that through the grapevine, and certainly I don't think that DICE LA would have taken over development of Battlefield 1 whilst the Stockholm team almost move over solely to Star Wars Battlefront 2. The workload of creating a totally separate game would be just massive at this point, and considering this competitive stuff, is due to be shown at Gamescom, I don't think that's a likely scenario. Option number two is that DICE could be developing a competitive option within Battlefield 1 that would load up almost an identical version of the game, but it would have like tweaked in-game values for the gunplay, the movement system, to try and bring it up to a level where player skill determines who's going to win that gunfight. Tie that in with smaller maps and different game modes, or even the same game modes from the main game, and you'd essentially create this separate segment of Battlefield 1 specifically made for competitive play. This would sound pretty cool, but splitting the players across two separate experiences, I think would confuse players overall. Suddenly one part of BF1 has more recoil and more cumbersome movement than the other? That wouldn't make a lot of sense to people, and potentially it would cause frustration. People not knowing whether they're playing the competitive version or the casual version, or why something is different in different sections of the game, even though you're still playing the same game. I'm just getting confused explaining this to you, so if that actually became true, I'm sure many players would be confused by that. And the last option, and I think this is the most likely one considering the short amount of time that this appears to have been developed in, DICE has created a game mode that players can only play if they want to play competitively. This game mode would be different from anything in the casual section of the game, but it uses the same game mechanics as the casual section, so that players have got that continuity across both sections. So if you want to play casual, or you want to play competitive, you can expect exactly the same experience, apart from, in competitive, you play a specific game mode. This solution, however, would mean those casual aspects of Battlefield 1 aren't tweaked to base the experience on skill. If this was to be the solution, then I feel DICE would be smart enough and would be working on patching a lot of those more casual aspects, and they would release a final patch at the same time that the competitive features go live to change a lot of those casual elements into something that's based more on skill. If you look at the work they've been doing with the bayonet charge system recently, and how you can't quite bayonet charge around corners anymore and get those cheap kills, I think you can maybe understand where I'm going with this. Competitive is something that's new to Battlefield, and I mean that in a sense of the community. 
There are a lot of new players at Battlefield 1 that have never played any of the games in the franchise before. That's a brand new audience. They aren't used to seeing competitive because it wasn't in the game when it launched. More senior players who've been around since the Battlefield 2 days, of course, you're used to competitive and seeing it in the franchise, but I think this new attempt from EA and DICE will be different from what we've seen before. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section, I'll be there reading as many as I can. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.